Thank the chairman for, for the hearing. Uh, I, first, I want to start by saying it's very unfortunate that the Van Hollen motion was voted down. That was the most constructive path to avoiding a government shutdown that is looming in December and, and forcing us and the Congress to come together and work on a, on a budget agreement. Thank you, uh, Mr. Van Hollen, for that very constructive uh, proposal. This is creating great economic uncertainty. Uh, back home, I represent a district with an Air Force base that is home to U.S. Central Command and Special Operations Command. They are beside themselves about the inability of the Congress to move forward with a reasonable budget plan. It is now complicating the military missions of our country. They don't want another CR. That's a dead end. They don't want an OCO gimmick that doesn't serve our country well. They want those monies in the base defense budget. Uh, and have spoken out loudly. And then on the domestic side, our medical researchers, the transportation and infrastructure, all of those important jobs that help lift America are, are also being undercut by the uncertainty created here in the con Congress. Now, I'm very happy uh, this is being done in an open setting today because it really lays bare the priorities of the two parties here in Congress. The Democratic priority is to address the budget uncertainty, come together, work out a plan to move forward and avoid the government shutdown. The Republican priority, however, is to continue to attack women's health care and, and intimidate Planned Parenthood nonprofit clinics and the women that go there for their health services. This witch hunt continues, and it's not serving the interest of our great country. It's beneath the dignity of this Congress. Uh, because what is going to happen when we come back after next week? There is a new Benghazi-like select committee uh, to continue this witch hunt. I mean, this is really an all-time low. Uh, there's been an attack on women's health now for decades. But now the all-time low is what happened this summer with these manufactured YouTube videos now becoming the basis of public policy in America. While all the investigations done here in the Congress and in states across the country have, have demonstrated no wrongdoing whatsoever, so we're going to waste taxpayer funds and important time on this witch hunt, uh, I think it's very unfortunate. Uh, you know, the, the approval ratings of Congress are at an all-time low, and I have to say this demonstrates why that is, because this Congress and the governing, so-called governing party is not focused on the priorities for our great country, instead vo focused on intimidating women in trusted clinics across the country. I urge a no vote on this motion and on the reconciliation package. Thank you.